Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to learn the MCP, but not in the traditional way that we are seeing in the videos of YouTube right now. As I am a hardcore developer who has been developing for more than a decade of time, I wanted to use MCP to actually query my database, right? So let first see what is we are going to do. So first we start the cloud server or cloud interface. You can see there are three MCPs. I am one using Python and another two is using the TypeScript. The one is using Python is the add one. So first of all, I need to start the Node.js server. So starting my server, now I will query into the things get me all the users from Kolkata. Let's see what is doing. So it's actually pulling my information from my database, and this is the information that is actually stored in my database. So let's First, see what is inside my database. So you can see there are two users who are from Kolkata. One is from UP, another is from Patna. So two of the one is male and one of the is female. So you can see it's actually giving me the written male and female with the phone numbers and everything. So it's actually querying my database. So how I have achieved it? So first, the thing is that you have to go, you have to go to the settings. And in the settings where you can see I have two of my configs and uh, this is my one of the config actually so first one is from Python it's actually running on the demo server the second one is with the node.js and TypeScript it, it is like you can use the TypeScript SDK as as all or you can use directly node.js so I will go everything with that so this is where I have connected the things out. Now in the API.js is simple express JS. Now in the simple express, what do we have doing? We have just created a schema. One is the API endpoint, which gives me if the Kolkata degree gives me, which is a static API. The second one is a get user, which is a dynamic API and calling my MongoDB database. Right with the given list of data so now if you go into my mongodb this is my database now coming to the mcp part in the index i have just commented out the the static uh, functions like get sum get multiplier where we have two functions get location wise user data get weather data right and it just simply calls the, this is the server tools actually this is not something different if you wanted to know about this you can go into this tool section and you can use this on throughout through your servers right so if you go into this i've just called one function get city weather report another is get location user report and both of these get a parameter called the city parameter now once you get this parameter you have two main functions over here where I'm actually using the wait fetch and getting the response and returning it back. So this simple step now can transform your MCP into connecting with Mongo database, right? It can be connected to any kind of database, like MySQL or anything like that. So what is the power here? The main power here is that you will query to the Claude API with your information. So what you are typing here actually will be an api call so your mcp is connected to the cloud and that gives you the information for that user so now if you think of this as a product so you might be query give me product which are in color red so it will give you the information with tagging system so this is how i use mcp to actually query my database if you do like my videos, do subscribe to my channel, share this video so people can understand how they can use 
MCB with Node.js and MongoDB and uh, definitely I will be giving all the codes on the description. Thank you so much for watching my videos.